What's up with the squad? Back with another video from Reckless. Okay. Got students ask. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. To prove the Democrats, you know what I'm saying, R word history. You feel me? YouTube is a little bit odd with those uh, topics. Right. And we yeah. think I'm about to start posting videos on Rumble. Um, I think it's, you know, I don't know. I, I, I think I feel a little bit safer. You know what I'm saying? When, when posting on Rumble. Yeah, because you got to like tiptoe with YouTube. Most definitely. Hold on, y'all. It'd be some, it'd be some, uh, <laughs> some bad little kids. Anyways, you feel me? Um, why do you, why did it sound so close? Like it was right up on the door. Yeah, it's weird. Anyways, definitely, uh, make sure you hit the like button, that subscribe button. <clears throat> if y'all see me walk away in this video, I gotta get my inhaler. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good right now. <laughs> but let's get in the video. The question, the deeper part of the question is, so prove to me that the Democratic Party is racist now. And um, as often happens with a tough question, this is kind of when I rise to the occasion. Um, um, well, <coughs> Let me just say this. If one goes today to the democratic controlled inner city, and we're talking here about some two dozen cities entirely dominated by the Democratic Party, there's not a Republican in sight. Mm. I argue that we will see in them now all the five features of the slave plantation that Kenneth Stamp outlined in his classic work the peculiar institution. In a description of the plantation, Kenneth Stamp identifies five things that you would see on a slave plantation. Number one, broken down, dilapidated, and unsafe housing. Hmm. Number two, broken families. You can see this under slavery. There was a confusion of... So think about what we're thinking about right now is basically what he's saying that the Democrat control area. So, um, you know, the bad neighborhoods out okay. east. Yeah. West side, okay? Yeah. You know, who's the real father? <laughs> Mulattoes running around in the plantation, the family structure and decay. Number three, a high degree of violence required to hold the place together. Police power, whippings, overseers, fences, barbed wire. <clears throat> Number four, Everybody gets a basic provision. You need food, you have health care, they call the doctor, but nobody gets ahead. There's no opportunity, nobody really advances. The Southerners and the Democrats used to call slavery a school of civilization. And Stamp goes, that's not a school from which anyone ever seemed to graduate. But that's what I'm saying, so <clears throat> he's naming all this stuff that basically so. the Democrats are, control, are controlling, but my thing is, these same Democrats that walk around and say this and say that or people of the black community uh do things and why are these areas still the way that they are why why aren't it's there's no like oppor opportunity. But, but the thing is is that a lot of okay i'm gonna say a lot of black people in these communities um they always complain you know, they always complain and say, and it, this is me being real, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably get a lot of people hating on me about this, but a lot of people complain, a lot of black people complain in these communities. Oh, well, <clears throat> we, we we don't have this, this is going on right now, this, all this is going on, and this and that, but then they go and the same people, the Democrats, that's literally controlling these areas and not really doing as much as they should about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That it's it's it, it, it's them there. They voted. You know what I'm saying? They're voting for these Demo these same Democrats that they're literally complaining about. And it's like, why do that? And they'll say Republicans. You know, all the Republicans are nowhere in sight. And know what? Me personally, you know what I'm saying? Like, I why if you have Democrats that you're voting for, you're voting for these Democrats, and you're doing this. Why should you know what I'm saying? Like it's see, it's yeah. damn near like it's like I don't know. That shit's just weird. Like why would you want to vote for somebody that's literally 
being being controlled just just like he's saying like the, it's not crazy. mainly he's talking about you know having you being as a slave you know what i'm saying he's not he i don't think he's calling people slaves in a way i think he's mainly calling these democrats that's controlling these black communities yeah. slave owners you see what I'm saying? Being in a slave owner, my, and it's it's damn it's near like sucks. They're c- controlling them because yeah. they they need that or whatever, and then if they don't have it, just like we was talking about the other day, it's no pacifying these neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it, it, it damn near sucks. And then the same people that complain and say this and say that are the same people that's voting for these Democrats. That's right. literally yeah, being controlled. Yeah, makes sense. It really advances. The Southerners and the Democrats used to call slavery a school of civilization. And Stamp goes, that's not a school from which anyone ever seemed to graduate. And finally, nihilism and despair. A feeling that there's no future, that this is an intergenerational, ongoing, lasting way of life. Now, all those five features can be traced directly to inner city Oakland, inner city Baltimore, Many play Chicago. And like I say, this has been going on since the 60s. The United States has spent trillions of dollars to fix these places. The Democrats have been in charge of fixing it. And yet, many of these places are no better off than they were in 1967. Think about that. And I feel like a lot of it got to do with... um, A lot of it got to do... And I ain't ain't about to be no hypocrite or none because I listen to music. I mean, I... I grew up listening to rap music. I grew up listening to this. I grew up listening to that. But a lot of times, and I can't mainly blame because we are our own people. But at the end of the day, it's still kids. Kids, you 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 letting your kids listen to you know uh, music that has a lot to do with crime, music that has to do a lot with just you know what I'm saying a little girl showing their body and twerking and yeah. doing this and doing that and thinking that shit cool. And although I can't put mainly the blame on, you know, these people, because what they fail to realize, a lot of these rappers, um, they have it. They got their money. They got this. They got, they out of that. You know what I'm saying? They, they out of the hood. They out of, and it, it, it's them there. They following their, and it's, it, it, a lot of it is these young adults too, that, that the parenting these, these young kids, I think. And that's, that's mainly what it is too, is that you letting this, this rap music and it, this bad it's drill right. music yeah. influence your kids to to move in the wrong direction especially if you're in a place that a a a, a, a community a bad community yeah. that you ain't supposed to be they feel like all oh, they have to do that and it's like a cycle they see people they see sitting outside yeah drinking like, oh, yeah they see on tv they what they on tiktok and they seeing uh, i see i don't even know those videos like that because videos don't pop up on my tiktok like that but videos yeah. of a drive-bys and they, they think that shit cool and when they see that shit, it's cool. They see it in music videos. They see it in this. It's like a cycle. Yeah. It's like a cycle. They and they think that shit cool. It, yeah. Facts. And then that's what, what mainly is. And then the young girls, they like dudes. like. And it, it's, it's all like a cycle. But then you have others, you know what I'm saying, that it's, it just it sucks. It's a lot with it. But then you, they say that the Democrats, you feel me, this is the Democrats that, that's supposed to be in charge of doing this. But but yet, it's people still, it's, it's just... It's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, because it's really like they're controlling. <clears throat> it's crazy. It's controlling. It's a lot of influence on bad things. Like, it's just, yeah. it's a lot. And it's like, it's nothing that can possibly, you know, in a way, help these these situations, like, at all. And yet... Because it's the same. It's going to be the same cycle, I feel like. It's, uh, I feel like that, too. Like, yeah. it's... In 1967. Think about that. So, at the very least, this reflects a callous and shocking disdain for the welfare of the people who live in those communities. And for me, this is a big opportunity for Trump. If Trump is able to talk straight to people in our inner cities, and I would add in our barrios and on our native reservations, and show them that there's a way to get up and get off the plantation, this would be a mammoth opportunity for the Republican Party. Mm. And I feel like it's, main, it's mainly because, like, I feel like a lot of people is going to take him as saying, you know, calling you basically like slaves in a way. 
Technically, I feel like honestly, it was more so of him saying that you're con- you're controlled by slave owners. Um, mainly, I <clears throat> I was always taught um, there was a uh, there was a person named Jenny that that used to when I was doing music reactions used to be over what you know uh, you, you know the music helping us with different music and stuff like that. Um, and she told us, what, you remember what she said about finding, you know what I'm saying, with the videos. You always want to find something good out of the video. Oh, yeah. You always want to find something good. Even if you, in your mind, you feel me, other people say, you know what I'm saying, this is a horrible video. You always want to find something good in the video. Regardless, you don't like it, find something good yeah. in the video. And me personally, <clears throat> you don't, you don't, you don't want to find, you don't want to look at it, you know what I'm saying, it's bad. And that's why I say, I don't think it's mainly because he's saying, He's calling people slaves. I think it's more so of of how it's like operating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, slave, slave yeah. being towards the slave Democrats being slave owners, having you own, you know what I'm saying, a plantation yeah. of things going around. It's not getting fixed. It's not. This is he named, he lists five things, you know, to of what yeah. slave owners, you know, what it what it would look like. What it look like plantation, and this is sad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they're just trying to like put it in a different way. A perspective, yeah. so people can actually see. You know, this yeah. is this is what's really going on. But yet, you still got people voting for Democrats, which is not helping. It's like they don't, you don't want that help. I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, you already know. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe. I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in, watching this reaction. More videos about him. Definitely comment down below uh, with a link. Cause definitely, uh, I, I like I like the way that he speaks. Yeah. Um, regardless, I don't know you feel me. Uh, what y'all opinions are and y'all thoughts, but I like the way that he speaks. You feel me? Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Catch y'all next one.